Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science. In this video, let's learn to use the periodic table in order to find an element's name, symbol, number of protons, neutrons, and electrons. Take a look at this chart. Let's figure out how to find the missing information. Each box of the periodic table contains information about an element. Let's look at carbon. First, you will see the symbol. It's a one or two letter abbreviation derived from the element's English or Latin name. Below that is the element's common name. Above that is the atomic number. This equals the number of protons in the nucleus, as well as the number of electrons. To find the electrons, take the atomic number and subtract the charge. An atom can gain or lose the electrons and become what is known as an ion, which is nothing more than a charged atom. Adding or removing electrons from an atom does not change which element it is. Below that is the atomic mass, and this is the weighted average of the masses of all the elements' isotopes. If you round the atomic mass to the nearest whole number, it gives you the mass number, and that's the sum of the number of protons and neutrons in a specific isotope. So let's get started. Up first we have, we're going to find the element, the symbol, the atomic number, number of protons, neutrons, electrons, and the mass number. So first we have silver. If you find silver, it is a symbol of AG. It has an atomic number of 47, so that means it has 47 protons. Let's jump over to the electrons, and each of these elements has a zero charge. So 47 minus zero equals 47. So it will have 47 electrons. Now let's find the mass number. We will round 107.87, and we will round that to 108. Now to find the neutrons, we take the mass number, which is 108, and then we are going to subtract the number of protons, which is 47. And when you do that, 108 minus 47 equals 61. So it will have 61 neutrons. Next, let's look at potassium. Potassium is, has a symbol of K. Next, it has an atomic number of 19. So that means it has 19 protons. In order to find the electrons, remember it has a zero charge, so 19 minus zero is 19. Now let's get the mass number. If you take 39.098, you will round it to 39. So it has a mass number of 39. And then 39 minus 19, which is the number of protons, gives you 20 neutrons. Next, let's look at 10. 10 has a symbol of Sn an atomic number of 50, so it has 50 protons. Next, let's skip over to electrons. It's a zero charge, so 50 minus zero is 50. The mass number, 118.71, will be rounded to 119, and then 119 minus 50 is 69, and that's the number of neutrons. And finally, we have fluorite. Fluorite has a symbol F, excuse me, fluorine has a symbol F, an atomic number of 9. That means it has 9 protons. has a zero charge, so the electrons will be 9. It has a mass number of 19, because I round up to 19. And then 19 minus 9 gives you the number of neutrons, which is 10. If you'd like to know more about the periodic table, this playlist will help. And as always, thanks for watching. And Moo Moo Math uploads a new math and science video every day. Please subscribe and share.